Now this is a very common series that we have to prove by induction so uh, we should certainly learn this process. We've got to prove that the sum of r squared going from r equals 1 to n equals 1 sixth n multiplied by n plus 1 multiplied by 2n plus 1. And so to do this, all we need to do is check out that it works for n equals 1 first of all. So if we start then by saying when n equals 1, what do we get? Well, we've got the sum of r going from 1 then to 1 for r squared. It's going to equal just simply 1 squared, which clearly is 1. Now what we need to do is check out whether the right hand side comes to 1 when we substitute 1 in for n. So we've got 1 sixth n multiplied by n plus 1 multiplied by 2n plus 1. And if we put 1 into that we end up with 1 sixth n multiplied by 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3. And indeed we do get 1. So therefore we can see that it's true when n equals 1. Now we need to assume that it's true for some particular value for n. Assume true that uh, it's for n equals say k. So that means that therefore we can say that the sum of r squared going from 1 to k equals 1 sixth and all we need to do is if we're assuming this result is true for n equals k just substitute k into here. So we've got 1 sixth k multiplied by k plus 1 multiplied by 2k plus 1. Now that we've done that we've assumed that it's true for some particular value of n, we now need to show that it's true based on this assumption for n equals k plus 1. So we'll put when n equals k plus 1. So when n equals k plus 1 we have the sum of r squared going from r equals 1 to k plus 1. Now in order to use this particular result what we do is we say that this is exactly the same as doing the sum of r squared going from r equals 1 to k plus the last term the k plus 1th term and that will be simply k plus 1 all squared. That's when r is the k plus 1. Now we can use this result if we assume that that result is equal to this then we've got 1 sixth k multiplied by k plus 1 multiplied by 2k plus 1 and then we've got the plus k plus 1 all squared on the end here. Now if we're to prove that this is true for n equals k plus 1 you would expect to see 1 sixth k plus 1 here. We're going to end up with all the n's being a k plus 1. And I can see that if I'm to do that, it would be a good idea to spot that 1 sixth and k plus 1 is a factor that is common to both this term and this term here. So I'm going to pull out 1 sixth k plus 1. So that's looking quite good so far. I'm expecting to get in these two brackets instead of n here k plus 1 plus another one and then two lots of k plus 1 plus that one there. So it's given me clues all of the way. So if I put up a square bracket here what have we got to put in here now to get, get this first term? Well it's got to be the k and the 2k plus 1 so we'll put k bracket 2k plus 1. And for the last bracket, we've already pulled out 1 sixth, 
so we've got to make this six times bigger so we've got plus six and we've also pulled out a k plus one so we'll just reduce that down to k plus one there okay now all we need to do is to just clean up this square bracket here so if we multiply this out can you see we've got 2k squared so let's just put that in as 2k squared we've got k times 1 that's a k plus this 6k so that's going to be 7k and then we've got the 6 times the 1 on the end so that's just going to be plus 6 now I can try and factorize this quadratic factor we've got then 1 sixth k plus 1 and if we factorize the quadratic factor you get two factors one of them is 2k plus 3 and the other factor is k plus 2 check that out you'll see that you get your quadratic there now I prefer to rewrite this now so that you can see that we get this kind of format I get this then as 1 sixth k plus 1 now instead of the k plus 2 I'm going to write that first of all as we'll put it in square brackets as well k plus 2 can be written as k plus 1 plus another 1 so that's looking good for this bracket here and then we're multiplying this another square bracket there by 2k plus 3 but we could see this as two lots of k plus 1 plus another one so you can see that we've got the form 2 multiplied by k plus 1 and then the plus 1 on the end so you can see it's true for therefore true for n equals k plus 1 and then we just need to finalize this in the usual way we know that if it's true for n equals k it's been proved to be true for n equals k plus 1 we proved that it was true for n equals 1 so therefore it obviously must now be true for n equals 2 n equals 3 and so on for all positive integers so we just need to write a conclusion in here so therefore since true for n equals 1 it must be true now for all positive integers of n okay